Hello. Can Hello. You know? Hello. Okay. So I sorry. See you. We had expensive, and um, we wanted it outside because you can't see it, but we've got plexiglass that mm. is. You know what? You can't see me. We've got plexiglass <laughs> that we hung for our big studio, so it's kind of construction area right now, and mm. it's raining. Okay. So, to put up canopies and all kinds of stuff, and um, that took up time when it was supposed to be hour to hour. So, hello. I don't think that we can. Hello. Hello. Hi. hello. Hi. Hi. My Hi. sister-in-law <laughs> holding this. So, there, that's good. We're good right there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. This and is I'm my Barbara. mom, Barb. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. Where are you guys from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. I think you can tell me that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so Sarah, gonna... you dance? Um, I used to dance in high school, but I run, um, I don't know if you ever heard of Hollywood Clips 22. It's a dance mom. Well, you know, I, I hadn't heard of it until your mom reached out to me. And then, of course, Matt Dugan went on and said, oh, yeah, this is totally legit. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a lot of weird people that, in fact, mm -hmm. we had some people that contacted me and I stupidly answered them. And they hacked into our dance studio oh Facebook page and stripped us of being administrators. And they're, where are they from, Erin? The Ukraine. The, they're from the Ukraine. Oh. You know, selling like PlayStations on our Oh my God. And we wrote some Facebook. They would not acknowledge us. It was a hot mess. We had to completely, um, you want us to hold the puppy? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah my hands um, get tight. <laughs> Oh, hi puppy. Hi, puppy. This, this is our dog's sister. So yes, so different litter. So Aww. they're puppies. This Aww. is Daisy. We hi, have Daisy. So, so cute. cute. Okay. I'm interviewing you. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. How's everything in Ohio? Did you guys get through the COVID okay? What did you do with your studio? Um, well, the studio has actually been shut down since March 11th, okay. and we did Zoom classes in June and July. We completely had to um, put our recital on hold. Mm. So at one point, our goals and our hopes were that we were going to be able to have a recital in September, but in speaking to the, the, the lady that runs we go to a theater, a very historical theater, mm -hmm. and um, there are no live shows anywhere. So, you know, of course, with Broadway being shut down, I think they, they're the ones that actually set the precedence, and they're right. not open until 21. Mm -hmm. So we are, our, our goals and our dreams of having a recital for this year are mm -hmm. starting to slowly go through our fingers. I know. So, um, but we had, today was the first day that the girls have actually kind of come back together and seen each other in person oh, okay. with uh, a ballet class outside. And our goal is to open up the day after Labor Day. But, you know, things change constantly. Who knows right. what, I don't know how it is for you guys, but mm. we, our state kind of was a trendsetter and did a really great job in the beginning. Yep. And um, we set levels and we're at the lowest level, our county. Mm -hmm. So that's good because yeah. the people have been wearing their masks and whatever. Right. So right. That's we're the same too. We started, you know, they started off firm and we're in the, the level before vaccine right now. So, but now it's starting to spike up a little bit because people are gathering. So they may bring it back that gyms are yeah. to be open. So. It's, it is the craziest thing I never thought in my lifetime that I would see something that's so archaic, the way that right. we are being, you know, um, handled. And I, it's like every day, why doesn't somebody just come out with something? Not necessarily a vaccine, but uh, like penicillin or, you know, something that's going to curtail it. Right. right, right. I know, yeah. it feels never ending at this point. It does. So We're actually know. supposed to go to Broadway um, to see Mean Girls on March 14th. Yeah. Um, with Sabrina Carpenter, because that's one of our favorite people. So did you get to see it? No. Oh, no. we it saw it a couple years days. ago. It was awesome. Oh, oh good. really yeah, awesome. Yeah, we saw it a couple years ago. It was really good. Oh, good, I'm excited. yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. So we've been re-watching um, the Dance Moms, actually. And we went back all the way to season one. And it's funny you see it with a new eye. Yeah. Um, so how, what percentage of the show would you say was produced? Oh, huh? Almost all of it. Yeah, yeah. heavily. Yeah. Heavily produced. Um, yeah. I always say that, you know, there's no script. Mm -hmm. And that's where they, um, keep that down a little bit, Erin. That's where they get away with saying that it's not scripted because they don't hand you a script. 
time that we got from season one to season eight, it was a well-oiled machine. I would go into makeup in the morning and they would come in with their notes and what they would call what beats they wanted me to hit. And they would tell me, okay, so this is what's gonna happen. Uh, Jill's gonna call you, so look out for a phone call. Of course, we had to always put it on speaker. Right. right. Grandma's calling you. Mom, we're in the middle of an interview, so we'll call you when I get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. So, you know, they would say, Jill's gonna call you this morning. Right. And this is what Jill's gonna talk about. But they wouldn't tell you, you know, now you say this. Yeah. Right. That's where spontaneity came in. But I, I was, Kind of laughing this morning, I was looking at, it was like the top 20 reality shows that are the most fake. And I was like expecting Dance Moms yeah, to right. be there at any moment, but it wasn't. And it was like, you know, a lot of the ones like Pawn Shop and all of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff that you might think might have a little bit of reality. Right. Um, no, they're, they're fake. They're all fake. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. um, we are a dance studio that has a lot of um, a lot of good accolades mm -hmm. under our belt for years. I mean, we've been in business for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. So when I had to become the nemesis yeah. of Abby, it was very hard for us all to swallow mm -hmm. that we were always number two. Yeah. You know, no matter and, and occasionally they would let us win. Right, but yeah. it was always when it was um, like an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. Like one time we had this beautiful dance and she turned around and said, you know, you're going to win today because we have to shut production down. We're all going to Australia. So oh, they're going to let you win on the end note. And so yeah. that was really frustrating and hard. Yeah. And, you know, it was hard to take that because people would come up and say, um, your number was so much better. Your number should have won and all of that. Kind of stuff. And honestly, we didn't really have any control over the kid. The second season, all of those dancers were mine. Mm -hmm. And then there was a huge falling out at the finale. Yeah. And my, I said, I'm not using any of my own students again because they don't get this. Yeah. By that time, I was a little bit more savvy to what was going on, but they right. didn't get it. And I always say that doing reality is like being in a fun house. Because you <laughs> never know what's going to pop out. It was heavily produced. I mean, yeah. what, when we first started the show, the very first season, uh, I would hear them and the producers in another room. Yeah. They were discussing what the storyline was going to be. There, so there was a definite storyline. I mean, even, even Vivi and I, our storyline, yeah. I would never drive to Pittsburgh to right. take Vivi to dance with right. <laughs> yeah, They it just not wanted sense. us. They yeah. wanted us. Didn't know how to incorporate us. Uh, because right. I, in, during our audition, I said to them, I'm not what you're looking for. Because mm -hmm. I am the dance teacher. And you can't see me anymore. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a dance teacher. I, I don't, my husband doesn't grumble about money. So right. I'm not that dance mom who has right. issues and they yeah. were like, Oh no, 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 you're funny. We want you. You are funny. Yes. You are funny. You. <laughs> you, have you always had this quick wit. Funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. I'm funny. Uh -huh. huh? And Vivi, what did you think about being on the show? You did. What did um, you I like? don't remember that much of it. Cause I was mm. so young. Oh, I so really good. don't really remember any of it, honestly. Yeah. So I haven't really watched it either. So yeah. I don't really have an opinion. It. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you lived it. She, I mean, Vivi has a lot of Instagram followers, and yep. people know who Vivi is. Yeah, right. I, I bet. Okay. But she kind of takes it in her stride because yes. she was only six. I know. know. So literally, people did see those girls grow up right, right. on TV, and mm -hmm. she was only six. And I think yeah. the last time that we filmed, you were in seventh grade. I was like twelve. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the six wow. years, and in fact, uh, one of the producers. I was talking to the other day and he said, it's 10 years next year. Wow. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Cause Vivi will be 16. That's, yeah. That's crazy. Um, so now you're doing tap. You like it? Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm, I do all styles, but I like to mainly focus on tap. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Um, now I saw you did a Facebook live with Christy like last year. How did that come about? Are you friendly? Uh, you know, it's funny because on the show, 
Christy loved to say things. She said some really funny things about me. And of course I said some really funny things about her. <laughs> that are iconic yeah. sayings that, you know, come around constantly to haunt us. Right. But um, getting back to season two, there was a huge altercation after the cameras went down oh, okay. and it was between Christy and I, and it oh. was really, I mean, the Beverly Hills police came. Ooh, it wow. was really quite traumatic. Mm -hmm. And um, we had to film uh, the reunion show mm -hmm. like two or three days after this all went down. So we were all stuck in LA together and she did apologize to me. And it was kind of like, there were a couple things that happened during season one that Christy proved her allegiance to me mm -hmm. off camera. And yeah. that kind of continued on through mm -hmm. all of the seasons oh, because no. there was a point where Christy was getting very fed up and that's when she left because right. it, uh, uh, Chloe had the eye situation no, and Abby was out of proportion and right. she don't, Abby did not treat Chloe and oh, Christy really? nicely at all no. in person and on screen. I was the only mom that went to her when all of that happened oh, and okay. she decided that she was going to leave but prior to that that season she was kind of hankering to quit and she would text me what was going to happen oh wow. wow so then i would already have it in right. my thoughts that right. i would screw it out and the producers would be like <laughs> <laughs> yeah she guess that and yeah. was, not all the time and it right. wasn't you know it was far and few between but but christy would feed me info yeah. and so we just over the years have continued to keep communication. I haven't talked to her for a while. I think that yeah. was probably the last time that I did talk to her. Okay. But um, there's been times that she's called me on the phone mm -hmm. and we've talked. And so I went on, she was live mm -hmm. and I went on and she was like, oh my gosh, Kathy's on. And then <laughs> she called me right after that and said, let's do a show yeah. so then that's when we did a show and it was fun it was fun yeah, doing that. I, I liked you two together um, mm -hmm. i think that probably the next person that i talk to because i get asked this a lot yeah. is melissa she mm -hmm. is a facebook friend okay. and so i get to see things with her like she'll share exclusive things that her girls are doing mm -hmm. that i can see because we're facebook friends and we'll you know hit like or oh how's it going or oh that's cute or oh, yeah, yeah. You know, kind of chit chat back and mm. forth on Facebook. Right. Yeah. Do you know what happened? Why they don't talk to Abby anymore? Is it just they? They were. I, just... I know why. I know why they don't talk to her anymore. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't blame them after Ooh. watching her again. You got the tea. Yes, I definitely know why. In fact, I'm. In fact, yes. The day that Abby was being sentenced, I was in Target and I was on the phone with Melissa. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so I know exactly. Why. Abby was actually um, a colleague of mine and. My dance studio knew of Abby for many, many years before that ever happened. Right. And I always would say that Abby was the one who was getting paid to say all of the things that she wanted to say to her clients in real life. Right. Because when we, I had a senior dancer who I wanted to have some choreography done by a guy that she would bring into her studio. Like she didn't do her choreography close to the end of her real dance studio mm -hmm. she had this guy come in well i wanted him to do a senior piece for me so we went there and i always laugh at this because there was a little girl that was in one of the off rooms and abby came up to me and said i gotta do a private with this kid and i can't stand her mother because she never pays her bill <laughs> it was brooke it, it was, was brooke. brooke and and um what was her mom's name Kelly. Kelly. It was Kelly. Brooke and Kelly. And mm -hmm. you know, when you watch Dance Moms, that's all she ever said about, yeah, right. about yeah. Kelly was yeah. that she didn't pay her bill. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you know, you get paid to say everything that you wanted to say about your customers. Right. They ever try to prompt you and that you refuse to like give into it? Did the producers ever say, you oh, know, there was, there's, there's been stuff. many times that I yeah. uh, said no, left. I, on yeah. one occasion, I, you know, the mics are thousands of dollars. I pulled my mic off and threw it on the ground. I could have cared less if it broke. And right. I did not answer my phone for weeks. Wow. Yeah. I would do anything with them for weeks because I was so irritated. So, but you know, most times, uh, the, 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 the iconic purse hit, yeah. the iconic hit. Oh, yeah. And I do 
keen to do that either. Mm -hmm. I had went in, delivered what they wanted me to, mm -hmm. turned around and came back out of the room because they always made me go into her room. They, as the cameramen and producers are standing there, pushing me back in. Oh. You have to go back in. It wasn't long enough. We don't have enough content. Right. So when I walked back in, that's when she threw water on me. And right. I honestly thought that she was doing it for the ratings. And right. my purse was like this big. <laughs> and yeah. there was nothing in it. Yeah. I'd be lucky if there was lipstick in my driver's license. <laughs> yeah. So I, when she threw that water at me, I thought, okay, mm. I'll play along. So right. that's why I walked over and slugged her. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> I, I just watched that scene because... I never really paid much attention to what Abby's doing in the background because yeah, I, I really don't like Jill and everybody knows that. So yeah. that's no secret. And that's in, that's the truth. I don't like Jill, right. but you know, she was throwing water on me as well yeah. in that yeah. scene. And I just happened to watch that scene and Abby is hysterical because she's sitting back in the back way. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, lady, it was a like, patent leather handbag that was four inches wide. Yeah. Serious. It's not like I packed it with meat or a brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, did Abby yell at you, Vivi? She didn't seem to yell at you too much. Maybe oh, she was afraid of your no, mom. Really that's good. That's good. good. Yeah. She, you know, that's the reason why we left. I didn't want to do it. Like the very first time I uh, came home from filming, I said to my husband, I'm going to write them a letter of resignation because I don't like doing this. Mm -hmm. I went from being on the woman's board of, at, a, at a hospital to golfing to, you know, garden club and all of this. And all of a sudden I'm this riffraff lady on, on, <laughs> on a reality show yeah. and hated it. But so second season, Vivi went to private school, all of her elementary school. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I put my money down and everything and said, we're not coming back. And we're not, but we're not going to live in Pittsburgh. That's for yeah. sure. And then that's when they said, well, fine. then we'll come to you and, and make you have your own team. Gotcha. But I didn't want to be subjected to Abby because I thought that she was oh, yeah. extremely cruel. Mm -hmm. She tried to get her digs in for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you think like, do you ever say, well, why the heck did they stay, like Christy and Chloe? And I, we've met Christy and Chloe a few times. Actually, the day we met her was the night the uh, meat suit um, aired that <laughs> night. We met her at Disney World. And she's like, oh, oh. Chloe's on tonight. She's kind of featured. And it was the, that episode. Um, yeah. Do you ever think, like, why are these people letting their kids put up with this? Are you talking about the moms? Yeah, yeah. the moms. Yeah. The kids. Well, one, of the moms. Reasons, one of the reasons why everybody put up with it was because we were all under contract. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. know, I, I have to laugh because when you read on social media, when you read people say, why don't they just leave? You know, why didn't they? Uh, nobody would ever treat my kid like that, blah, 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 blah. Well, in me trying to write a letter of resignation, mm -hmm. they came back and said, you realize that Lifetime is owned by Vicom and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we want to take your house and sue you, we will. Right. So we were all under contract. And one thing that I didn't do, I finally got um, a entertainment attorney who was wonderful and he was out of Atlanta and he did not sign after, I think it was three or three or four years, he wouldn't let me sign. Oh, wow. And they wanted me every time they wanted me, then he would negotiate with them oh, really? and they all signed. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, they make they make tons and tons of money. So yeah, I'm sure. I have a question. Um, when you did the moms dance, did the moms really not know you were going to take over and do a little solo? No, they had no idea. Because <laughs> that was hilarious. No, you know what's funny about that is mm -hmm. I already had something in my brain. Yeah. I was going to kind of do something like that anyhow. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the producer came up to me and said, "Now here's what's going to happen." And I went, "Oh, I'm already prepared for you." So <laughs> yeah. I knew. I I read a lot of books. And try to figure out things. So analytically, I always feel like I kind of was on the cutting edge of what they were going to do. So right. I already had all that planned. Yeah. To, uh, and I was off when they were filming somebody else that day. Mm -hmm. I was off over in a corridor rehearsing what I was going to do. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. So um, you mentioned you golf and Vivian no golf. So do you guys golf together or? We haven't golfed together in a while. I went one time last year with dad and then... Yesterday's. Yesterday she had, yeah, she had golf tryouts. We, my, my father-in-law usually did some kind of a um, golf outing that we've mm -hmm. golfed together. Um, mm -hmm. I would say Vivi's probably better than I am. <laughs> I suck. It's like the clothes. Right. Mm -hmm. 
You got the close. <laughs> um, so you're going to be having a channel, a YouTube channel, correct? Uh-huh. So tell us a little bit about that. What's going to be on there and what can we expect? Well, I don't know that Vivi wants to participate all that much. In uh, it. Come on, Vivi. <laughs> I'm not interested in that um, yeah. sort of thing. I, I just told her the other day, you need to pop in every once in a while for me. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is this. Uh, my audience are kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that kind of stinks because where I wish that I could take my YouTube channel yeah. would be about decorating in my house. Mm. Um, there's two people that I follow on Instagram that I've kind of turned my, my sister-in-law in on and friends, Turtle Creek and Christy Wick, and I'm like all in armored with them. I get on yeah. every morning like they're my friends. Yeah. And Matt Dugan keeps me, but that's what you need to do. Because yeah. people want to know what you're doing. Right. So I did something today, and okay. it was really quite funny. I, w- I was sitting in the bathroom, and somebody wrote and said to me, are you on the toilet? And I was like, no, I'm not on the throne. I was sitting on this little toilet. Yeah. So I filmed all of that, and I sent it to him, hoping for him. And I'm like, can we put this on YouTube? Is this what you're looking for? So, I mean, I think it's going to be trial and error. Yeah, sure. Um, I think it'll be fun on my end. I might yeah. pull in my nephew because he's all about it and oh, he's good. a dancer as well he was master dance of ohio last year oh, and i'm cool. hoping that vivi will oblige me and pop in every once in a yeah, while because yeah, i do nice. think people are interested in her i think yeah, so I for think sure so. Yeah. sure so i we don't have a ton of time left but i want to do a quick word association game with you do you mind if i say a name or a word just think okay. of the first thing that comes to your mind oh boy um <laughs> i think we went through this before but abby Oh, awful. Okay, Jill. <laughs> oh, God. I don't have enough words to say what I think about Jill. That's hilarious. Move along. Next yeah, word. Okay. Um, bunnies. Love. Still love do. bunnies. You still love bunnies. Okay. Love. Yvette. Chatterbox. Mm, mm. Okay. Kendall. Weak. Okay. Chloe. Nice girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Peyton. Big mouth. <laughs> Shopping. Oh, love? Love yeah. like bunnies? Yeah. All day long? Mm-hmm. In high heels for mm-hmm. hours? That's <laughs> awesome. I am not a shopper, so. No. Um, producers. Conniving. Mm. Kelly. Oh, boy. The first word that came to my mind was drunk, but that's because it was embedded in me from Abby. I right. don't think Kelly is a drunk. Right. I think Kelly's, I think that Kelly... We never really got close, yeah. yeah. But I didn't. I don't have problems with Kelly. Right, um, Maddie. Pretty, yeah. um, pretty girl. Anthony Burrell. Wolf. Wolf. Oh, good okay. one. Well, um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Brooke. I'm sorry, Brooke. Brooke. Yes. Yeah. Acrobat. Mm, Acrobat. Okay, okay, good. Right. We actually met Kelly a couple of times, and she was extremely extremely friendly yeah really, um, nice. really nice to us she sat and talked to me for a while because all the kids were together and mm-hmm. then it was it was it was a good thing but she, her and christy were not talking at the time and, oh. and, and christy and you could tell you could tell her she, face, was like, she was like not talking about it so yeah <laughs> oh okay yeah, I didn't I realize that they had i didn't realize they had a a, a recess yeah, yeah, yeah. On, the, on the show i think season three yeah season three well, Oh, okay. See, they, I never watched the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they had a big film, but I, 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 I don't watch it. If uh, Lifetime came to you and said, you can have your own show, not involving Abby, just about your dance studio and competing, would you do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah I mean, who, who says no to that kind of stuff? That's why yeah. I didn't say no the first time. Right. But, you know, you're, you're a 0.5% person that ever gets to say, I, I was on TV in a show. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Did, did your family and friends, um, what did they think when you did the show? No. Well, I did. A, there was a lot of tears on my end because okay. I, I am very much in love with my house and in love with where I live and in love with my family and all of that kind of stuff. So it was difficult for us to be gone. And when Vivi was uh, in kindergarten, she only went to school on Monday. Wow. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. We were dark on Monday, and then Tuesday through Sunday we were filming. So that was there was a lot of tears, and um, but they would travel with me. They were so the the production company was very nice because they would let me 
bring my entourage and Abby hated it yeah. <laughs> because she felt like money that they were spending on them yeah. could have went in her but right. they did that made me feel comfortable and it, it did help it did help for my husband and my mom and what you know my best friend would go once in a while or my sister-in-law went with me and they would pay for it in fact my sister-in-law is the red-headed person that you see in what season the red-headed lady really that you see, see that. in season five or <laughs> six, okay. six. Five and, six. Uh, and when the girls had the beautiful when i went in with the cake oh okay when yeah when I went in with the cake the yep. redhead is my sister-in-law oh, so she oh, had to okay. a yeah. couple times she was kind of like my gia yeah. Which that, oh, yeah. was, that was really nice when oh, it good. Well, thank you so much for talking yeah, thank to you so us. Much. And so much. Thanks for interviewing us. Yeah, it was nice to meet you guys. All right. Take you care. Too. Take care. Bye. 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 -bye.